you end up self-isolating, being away from everyday social interactions, it can really start to take its toll. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, is here. Let's face it, the news can be overwhelming, but actually quite frightening. Yes, it can, but worrying about it can affect your physical health. So I've been to talk to a professor at the University of Warwick, and the point she was making to me was uh, our mental health can actually affect our immune system and how we can fight off things like the coronavirus. How we feel emotionally, psychologically, has an effect on how our bodies are functioning, and particularly on the immune system. We are all going to meet this virus. We're going to meet it several times before it's run its course through the population. And what will determine whether we get ill, um, how ill we get if we get ill, how long it goes and how uh, severe it is, is our own immune system. And we've got some control over that. So that's control in terms of how we feel. So if you go to a choir once a week and you enjoy singing with your friends, don't stop because you're frightened about the virus and it's worrying you. Take precautions, don't cough on people and wash your hands. But the joy and happiness you get out of going to the choir and seeing your friend will help your overall well-being and that will help you fight off things like the Yeah, virus. but what about people who have to self-isolate? OK, so once again, you've got to preserve links to the outside world and find ways to keep yourself busy. So, for example, Nigel and Anne Scotland have been self-isolating in Cheltenham after an outbreak at their hotel in Tenerife when they're on holiday. Uh, they explained to us what they did to keep busy, uh, followed by another quick word from the professor. We ordered some paint and we decorated the kitchen and we've been doing lots of jobs at home that wouldn't have got done otherwise. And also family and friends have brought food and flowers and left everything on the doorstep. Um, what you need to do is find out what works for you, what enables you to relax your nervous system and it might be taking the dog for a walk it might be just walking in water or by water it might be going for a massage find out and do more of it because by doing that you'll stay mentally healthy and that'll help you stay physically healthy so if you do come into contact with the virus well you'll have a better chance of fighting it off david thank you